Given an angle, find the corresponding point on the unit circle. To find the corresponding point on the unit circle of a given angle, we sketch the angle in standard position and determine where the terminal side intersects the unit circle. The reason it's important to be able to do this is that we can use the corresponding point on the unit circle to determine the six trig function values shown here below. But in this video, we will focus just on finding the corresponding point on the unit circle. When sketching an angle in standard position, the initial side is always along the positive x-axis. If the angle is positive, we rotate counterclockwise, or in this direction. If the angle is negative, we rotate clockwise, or in this direction. The first given angle is 60 degrees, and therefore we rotate counterclockwise 60 degrees from the positive x-axis. Rotating counterclockwise, we have 30 degrees and then 60 degrees. This is the terminal side of the angle 60 degrees in standard position, and the corresponding point on the unit circle is this point here, 1 half comma, square root 3 divided by 2. So now if we wanted to, we could find these six trig function values for 60 degrees, given x equals 1 half, and y equals square root of 3 divided by 2. Next we have 135 degrees. So starting along the positive x-axis, we rotate counterclockwise 135 degrees. If we rotate to the positive y-axis, this would be 90 degrees, and therefore we need to rotate another 45 degrees counterclockwise. So here, this is the terminal side of 135 degrees in standard position. And notice how the corresponding point is in negative square root 2 divided by 2 comma square root 2 divided by 2. You've probably already noticed that the angles from 0 to 360 degrees are labeled on the unit circle. So once we get to the negative angles, it will be a little more challenging. The next angle is 270 degrees. So starting along the positive x-axis, 270 degrees is going to be 3 fourths of a rotation in a counterclockwise direction. So we have 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and then 270 degrees. This is the terminal side of 270 degrees in standard position. And notice how the point on the unit circle is 0 comma negative 1. The last positive angle is 210 degrees. So again, starting along the positive x-axis, we rotate counterclockwise 210 degrees. Well, half a rotation counterclockwise is 180 degrees, and therefore, we need to rotate an additional 30 degrees counterclockwise, and therefore, this is the terminal side of 210 degrees. And notice the corresponding point on the unit circle is negative square root 3 divided by 2 comma negative 1 half. Next we have negative 60 degrees, which means we are now going to rotate clockwise 60 degrees from the positive x-axis. So the initial side is along the positive x-axis. Rotating clockwise, this would be negative 30 degrees, negative 45 degrees, and finally negative 60 degrees. This is the terminal side of negative 60 degrees, and the point on the unit circle is 1 half comma negative square root 3 divided by 2. By looking at the unit circle, we can also see that negative 60 degrees is coterminal with 300 degrees. Next, we have negative 330 degrees, and therefore we rotate clockwise 330 degrees. Rotating clockwise, we have negative 90 degrees, negative 180 degrees, and negative 270 degrees. We need to rotate another 60 degrees counterclockwise to reach negative 330 degrees. And therefore, this is the terminal side of negative 330 degrees, which we can see is coterminal with 30 degrees. And the corresponding point on the unit circle is square root 3 divided by 2, comma, 1 half. And the last angle is negative 225 degrees. And therefore, we rotate 225 degrees in the clockwise direction. We have negative 90 degrees, negative 180 degrees, and therefore, we need to rotate another 45 degrees clockwise. And therefore, this would be the terminal side 
of negative 225 degrees. And the corresponding point is negative square root 2 divided by 2 comma square root 2 divided by 2. Again, notice how this angle is coterminal with 135 degrees, which we found earlier. I hope you found this helpful.